We get a lot of questions here at Scott Night Magazine about how to get started in astronomy. So here are my five very simple tips for getting started in stargazing. Tip number one, you really don't need a telescope to do astronomy. There's a whole host of things that you can see with just the naked eye alone. These range from the Milky Way star fields to meteors, the bright constellations, as well as things like star clusters, galaxies, and even some of the brighter glowing gas clouds in space that we call nebulae. If you do want to take things further, you can pick up a pair of binoculars. A good pair of 10 by 50 binoculars will allow you to see some of those star clusters in more detail and see more nebulae and more faint galaxies. Tip number two is a very simple one, and that's to wrap up warm. Now I know that sounds obvious, but actually a lot of astronomy is spent just standing still, staring up at the sky. So it's really important that you insulate yourself from the cold. The last thing you want is to get out under beautiful, crisp, clear skies, and then have to go indoors because you're too cold. So I wear a pair of waterproof shoes and waterproof trousers, as well as full thermals and a thick, warm coat. You need to insulate yourself against the cold, so lots of layers is a good idea. Also, I use a balaclava and hat to keep the chill off my face. And if you're using binoculars or a telescope or a star chart, a pair of fingerless gloves are a great idea too. Tip number three, avoid street lights or any form of artificial light, really. If you can get out to the countryside, brilliant, because then you'll be able to take advantage of the dark skies there. There are lots of places in the UK where there are dark skies, and that will really make a difference to your observing, because you'll be able to see a lot more, including things like the Milky Way and some of those faint galaxies I spoke about. My next tip is to let your eyes adjust to the darkness. Now this is really crucial because if you go outside from a brightly lit room or a brightly lit house, you'll probably only see a handful of stars. But if you go outside and then let your eyes adjust to the darkness for maybe half an hour to an hour, you'll notice an incredible difference. You should be able to spot many, many more faint stars and perhaps things like the Milky Way from a site with very dark skies. Now my fifth and final tip is to pick up a star chart. Now we print one of these in Scarlet Night Magazine every month and they're a great way to learn your way around the night sky. You can begin by identifying patterns of bright stars and then go on to the constellations and before too long they'll become familiar and you'll easily be able to navigate your way around the night sky. So those are my five very simple tips for getting started in stargazing. I hope you find them useful. Clear skies and happy stargazing.